All right, you want to start by building your SCVs and sending your SCV to your minerals, and you want to have your rally point to the minerals. That way, each time you train an SCV, they go right right away there. Just constantly, constantly be building SCVs. These are your minerals up here. That's your sub your supply. You want to build your first supply around 9, almost 10. Supplies are so that way you can have more units. Otherwise, that second number is going to be maxed. Once your first supply depot finishes, you want to build your barracks around around 11 uh, supply. At 13, you want to build your first refinery. Refineries collect gas. Gas is used to, as along with minerals, to build units. Once your barracks is finished, you want to build a marine. Once you have 15, 15 uh, supply, you want to get your orbital command on your command center. Build two marines, that way in case you get rushed, and build a reactor. Once you get about 17 supply, you want to get down that other supply depot, and you want to build uh, your factory. Insufficient Vespine gas. So around around 18, that's when you want to get that factory up. Start training some more Marines. So yeah, that's your that's your basic opener for StarCraft II as Terran. All right, Juan already went over the basic build order for the Terran, and now I'm going to show you how to build faster. Um, Juan was building by clicking the right side, which is it's all right as a beginner, but when you start playing a little bit more, you, you need to learn something called hotkeys. Hotkeys are when you have enough minerals to build something, you grab an SAV, press the button B on the keyboard, so it pops up the build menu, and then if you want a supply depot, for instance, you press S, and then just click down on the screen. It's that simple. Instead of having to click in the bottom right corner to build, um, you just click the S, and it'll pop up the supply depot, and you can build it faster. And if you want another SAV, just grab them, do B again, and if you want a refinery, it's R, and then it's already put right there, so then you just place it on there. And it works with a whole bunch of other stuff with the refineries. It basically build, works with everything in the game. And if you want to create an orbital command, like Quan was saying, you would you would press, you click on the orbital command, then press V as you guys can see right there. That's the hotkey button. But you have to have a barracks. And for barracks, it, you would have to grab your SAV again, press B, and then B again. And then it pops up the barracks without having to deal with any of this on this bottom right hand corner. So it basically cuts down your build time in half, which gives you the upper edge on your opponents. And then for SCVs, you would have to click on the, on the command center and press S. And just click, click, click clicking S, and then it'll keep building SCVs right here without having to click this. It basically helps you out a lot when you're getting, when, you would think, when you're thinking about rushing or when you think you're gonna get rushed. And that's basic cockies for StarCraft 2. What up? This is Rafter Man, aka Juan Huerta. And this is that white Mexican, aka Javier. Right now we're showing you guys some StarCraft 2 gameplay that we got a couple nights ago. It's 2v2, and we're both playing as the Terrans. We're showcasing our skills. Or basically the build order and keyboard mapping slash hotkeys we were showing you guys in real life a couple of seconds ago. Um, right now, as you guys can see, we already have our SCVs going, and we're, we're bu building our supply depots. We had to speed up the game because this game overall was 30 minutes and our limit was 10. 
yeah i don't know we're just gonna basically talk we're not the greatest starcraft 2 players we just recently started playing more starcraft 2 when i got the game about a week or so ago so at first we were getting owned but now we can actually win online which is good using the um, the little build orders and button mapping slash hotkeys that we learned yeah <laughs> you're not, not going to say? That's all you're going to say? In the top left-hand well, corner? Yet, so. All right. In the top left-hand corner, you guys can see the red and the blue shield. I'm pretty sure they're shields. That's what we're building right now. As you guys can see, um, Juan's got a couple of SCVs. We're, and we're getting, building. getting scouted by... He, Javier just got scouted. Yeah. I'm, I'm blue. He's red. Yeah, the little thing when you guys see the little bullseye on the ground and it's going in circles, that's scouting. You do that by building the orbital command center, which I'm pretty sure we've already built by now. Yeah, we already have them. Then if you look in the t bottom right-hand corner, you guys can see that little patch of of not less dark or whatever you call it that's because we scouted him so we saw what they have i'm i'm starting to expand right there moving and expanding yeah okay you expand you expand because you need more minerals eventually your minerals and your vespian gas geysers will run out so expanding early helps you avoid the, the complication slash problems of having to expand when you're already out so as you see, after I saw Juan expanding, I expanded too. I already started building my Vespian gas um, geysers, and uh, right there, that's scouting. So I'm building my geysers, and I'm already building my command center. There, you, there you see our units. We're building marines and some forces to attack early on. I have my medvacs, which heal your marines, and Juan's got a couple of tanks. The tanks, what do they do? They shoot... Right here. Well, then, then you see us fail right there. <laughs> we <laughs> had to slow down just for the giggles because it took us a couple seconds we to got, get through. We got stuck. We had too many troops. What did the tanks do? They attack infantry? Siege tanks, yeah. They Siege attack infantry, tank. so basically they don't attack air, just basically ground. Right now you guys can see us. We're we're about to go attack. We're did we already say that we're facing the Protoss? Yeah, Protoss and... Protoss and Terran. And Terran. So... The thing that we figured out, the game before this, I think it was, that the Protoss have invisible people, and in order to show them, you can either use the the Orbital Command Center or the, what are they called? Ravens. Ravens. And the Ravens automatically show them. Right here, you guys saw that, we scouted them just in case they looked around to see if they had any invisible And we basically are, we, we've we uh, attacked that uh, Protoss, he's basically, he's we, basically done. we killed him off. Yeah. But as you see that, we attacked, we're still building more more units more same units time. in case well, we don't yeah our units got wiped out so we had to build more units yeah. so we already had them in the backup and right here Juan was getting attacked from behind so we sent all of our troops there and right now I'm gonna, as I'm building more units I'm gonna send a couple back there just just in case they try to run it back and do that again we could have killed the Protoss off in the first time but Juan well he just wanted to go for the Terran so try to weaken the other guy too but we could have killed them together but right now you guys can see us rushing them again the Terran I'm pretty sure the Protoss is done right now um, but if, but if you can look in the top left hand corner, Juan's still building units. I'm pretty much, I'm, I think I'm maxed out on units, so as soon as they die, I'm build more. This Terran had a lot of battle cruisers, so we weren't expecting that. So our units pretty much get wiped out right here. You see my tanks in siege mode, it, it allows, it gives them more range, but they have no mobility, they just stay there. Yeah, but you know, wrong. right here, the Protoss just quit, as you guys saw. We basically killed him off, so he didn't want to sit there and watch the game, so he just left. I started rally some, tro some troops near them, that, near their base. Yeah. Sorry to it to attack and in order right now uh, when we build we, we use the hotkeys just because it makes it build a lot faster instead of having to click through all the um all the little menus the sub menus you just keep building them right there and then right there that little line you see in the screen is rallying we're rallying our points right there or our troops right there just so we can go rush them well not rush but just go attack them right now and i'm pretty sure i just got scouted if i if i saw that thing correctly and right now juan's getting his troops together and we're about to try to kill off the Terran. And it, that little dot in the, that you guys saw on the screen right now, the bottom left-hand corner, that was saying that my troops are getting attacked, but that's one of my, I think that's like my second or third backup command center, so it really didn't matter much. So we just let him attack when we finished off his, his what is it called? His first base? His home base, whatever. He, he expanded, as you guys will see later on. Yeah. But the game's pretty much coming down to a close. We ended up beating him. He quit, so at the end, you guys will see a pause, but you guys will definitely see that we already took him out. Juan's finishing off the rest of his supply depot so he can't build anymore. And there's all of our troops attacking his battle cruisers. He's trying to retreat. He's trying to retreat, but we already know where he's going, so it's pretty much done. Right there, you guys can see his little second thing. Well, thank you for watching. Um, that went Mexican, aka Javier. Raptor Man, aka Juan Huerta. And this is showing you how to get better at StarCraft 2 with build orders and button mapping slash hockey.